everyone, welcome to Alpaca Life, where we talk about all things alpaca. I'm Tasha Butterfield, owner of Butterfield Alpaca Ranch in Nebraska. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Ravelry. All those links are down in the description box. I also do a monthly podcast on this channel where I talk about the fiber arts and my alpacas. In the last video, we talked about the fiber sorting system and why it is important for you to implement that in your business to produce the best possible products. So if you have not seen that one, you wanna check that out first. There's a link up in, the or up in the corner here and also down the description box. In this video, we're talking about what products you can produce at each of those grade levels. So first, well, here's the list of grades that I talked about in the last video. And we're gonna start off at the top with grade one. Grade one is also known as ultra fine and baby royal. Since fineness is a quality that breeders have been focusing on for a number of years now, we actually have subgrades of grade one that include grade zero, which is 15 to 16 micron, and grade double zero, which is 13 to 14 micron. Microns less than 20, so grade one and the subgrades, are best used for close to skin items, high fashion fabric, and suiting, so like high-end men's suits. This is a fiber that high-end designers buy for their products. So this is at the commercial level. If you have fine fiber, I highly suggest that you work with an organization that collects this fiber and sells it at the commercial market. One of those organizations I recommend is the Alpaca Coalition of America, also known as ACOA. So they have a national fleece collection initiative they collect, bale, and sell that fiber to the highest bidder on the market. So the high-end design houses, those are the people who are going to be bidding on this fiber and producing them into high-end product. An example of this is Ralph Lauren, who designs the uniform for the US Olympians. And I believe it was 2018, it was a Winter Olympics in which he had designed uh, you know, a sweater that all the Olympians wore. It was part U.S. alpaca. And he acquired that on the market from an organization. It could have been a COA, which I mostly think it is, but I can't say for sure. I kind of think it was a COA. Um, but he acquired U.S. alpaca on the market from an organization that collects U.S. alpaca and sells it to the highest bidder. If your herd produces fine fiber like this, I highly suggest you work with an organization like ACOA because we want that fine fiber to get on the market. We want high-end products made from this. We want, as an industry, a reputation that we create really great fiber. And we want to be competitive at that level internationally. I do find that most who raise alpacas with fiber that is this fine, that they have a breeding focus in their business and they participate in the shows, or the alpaca shows that are across the country. So that might be you. Grade two is also known as super fine or baby. And the term baby comes from the day when the first cutting off of a baby, their creocote, is the finest. It's always the finest. Their first is always the finest and the best that they will produce in terms of micron. And so it used to be the baby's first shearing uh, that was so fine to have this grade level. But as I said before, breeding finest has been a focus. So even adults now produce grade two baby alpaca fiber. So it's just become a term associated with a grade level such as, or the micron range such as grade two. And so you're gonna see baby alpaca maybe on a label for a garment or on yarn. And it's really just referring to the fineness of the fiber used to make that item, not necessarily fiber from a baby. All right, so this grade fiber is best suited for fine knitwear, suiting, and lightwear wovens. If you are interested in producing 100% alpaca yarn, it is best to choose lace 
or fingering weight. Now I'm gonna talk about weights here with these grades, and if you're not familiar with it, that is coming in a couple more videos. I will be talking about yarn weights and plies and what that all means. So until then, just kind of hide this information away. All right, now, since my business has a fiber focus in the fiber arts and the artisan community, grade two is actually the finest that I'm interested in producing. And I have found that it's advantageous for me to have relationships with breeders that their focus is more in the show circuit, in the show ring, because of course they're looking for that ultra fine grade, uh, grade one and finer. And they may have alpacas that are produced on their farms that don't meet their business goals, but fit very well with mine. So it works in both of our best interests to have a relationship where I can acquire those animals Grade three is known as fine, fine alpaca. It is best used for woven goods, machine and hand knit yarns. So here's more when we get into, into the artisan market. If you are wanting to produce 100% alpaca yarn, it's best to choose sport or DK weight. Grade four, also known as medium, is best for socks, fine felting, heavy woven outerwear, upholstery fabric, and home decor. 100% alpaca yarn should be DK or worsted weight yarn, or suggested to be, not should be, but highly suggested to be DK, DK and worsted weight yarns. Then we have grade five, which is also known as strong. So grade five and above, it is best to use for felt insoles, quilt batting, stuffing, interior textiles like rugs, carpets, and heavy use upholstery. 100% alpaca yarn, at this grade level, you should choose bulky or chunky. And this is the grade, grade five and six, I tend to choose for my woven rugs. Great, great use for those woven rugs. Now all this information is really meant as a guideline to help you make choices, and they're not really hard and fast rules that you need to follow. It's just kind of give you an idea of what is best used for these micron ranges. So you can use grade five for sock yarn, and you can use or turn grade two into sport weight yarn. You know, there are options within these guidelines. It really all depends on the fiber that you have available to you and what the best choice is for you to use to get that money to your bottom line. So I suggest that you focus on a few products, get really good at those products, and be known for that product. As I discussed before, it's really important to take some type of fiber sorting class because that gives you even more so the knowledge to kind of hone your skills, decision-making skills, to be able to choose the right products that come from your herd. And with all this information, it helps you decide what animals should be a part of your herd. Once you have a business focus, um, like I know like in mine, I want grade two and three animals because that is the target focus for the products I want to produce, but also gives as they age and as the micron gets higher in all alpacas, it's going to increase, but I still have products I can produce at the higher micron range as well. And so I can use fiber at any stage of an alpaca's life. But my goal is two and three as they age and it, that micron goes higher. I still have products I can produce that sell really well. So for you, that plays into what decisions it uh, or what alpacas you choose in your business. What is that grade level, the micron range that is best for your business goal? Go for that, purchase animals within that range. And that also helps you with your breeding decisions if that's a part of your business as well. Bre how do you make decisions of breeding who to who to get what result? What result would best suit or meet your business goals? Further research on this, I suggest checking out two places. One is the U.S. Alpaca Fiber Council. 
This I got right off of their website, which says, the U.S. Alpaca Fiber Council is an industry-centric organization focused on production and processing associated with U.S. grown and U.S. made alpaca fiber. Engaging in all aspects of the supply chain, USA, USAFC values sustainability, efficiency, and profitability for U.S. growers and processors alike. On their website, you're also going to find a brochure called Recommendations, Code of Practice and Basic Guidelines for Fleece Harvest, Skirting and Sorting, Grading and Classing. And this website is also where I got some of the information for this video. A lot of great information on there. Go scour it. Learn more than what I've told you here. The other place I recommend is the Alpaca Coalition of America, also known as ACOA that I mentioned earlier. And off their website, they say that they were formed in 2013 to help meet the needs of the maturing alpaca livestock industry through efforts that support both the profitability development of the markets for alpaca products and the success of other participants in the value chain. The links to these are down in the description box so you can go right to it and continue with your research. Now in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the options that you have at your fiber mill. Now that you have graded and sorted your fiber, you have an idea of what products you could produce from the fiber that you have, one option you have is to send stuff to the mill to be made into some of those products. So uh, I'm going to be going more depth into those choices. If you are do not have a background in fiber arts, then if you go to their mill website or talk to them about what you want, there's choices there that you have no idea what it is, you don't know if it's going to sell, who to sell it to. Some of the terminology is really confusing. Um, so that's what I'm going to address in the next video. What are all your choices? And to give you uh, the background knowledge that you need to then go have a discussion with your mill and say, this is the product that I want. Now, you'll also want to discuss with your mill owner uh, what your desires are because they may have some great suggestions for you but at least the next video is gonna give you a great foundation to have that conversation. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with those who love alpacas and can make good use of this information. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. If you appreciate the videos that I produce, please consider buying me a coffee over on my Ko-fi page. The link to that is also down in the description box. Have a great day and I will see you on the next video.